All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this DC Classic figure, and it is um, Dark Side from, uh, by McFarland Toys. And there's the box, it's massive, because Dark Side is massive. And on the back, shows a cool little image. And uh, so let's get into it. All right, and here we have Dark Side outside of packaging, and uh, accessories wise, he comes with, of course, the trading card right here in the back. And then it comes with an extra head sculpt, which is nice. And then he comes with a pointy finger and then a fist for the other side. So, yep. And of course, the base, it looks uh, kind of tiny next to dark side here. So, um, let's take a look at the figure itself first. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Oh, but uh, I noticed uh, the, uh, the arms and stuff, they do pop out quite easily and oh it looks like they barely have enough room uh, for the arms to go through that's why I think that's the reason yeah okay okay I get it okay so and then uh, another thing is when you first get this figure or well, when you first hold this figure you notice how light he is in comparison to other figures like this size you would figure it's oh pretty heavy but it's not though it's a lot lighter than other figures other big figures like um, um, killer croc or or Bane he is almost uh, lighter than Bane for some reason I don't understand why I think it's just the plastic or they hollowed out so much that uh, he feels very light yeah one thing I noticed is that the the weight of him is just very light for some reason and um he looks fantastic though i mean look at that head sculpt right there that looks amazing and then with the cloth cape i like that a lot because it has wire running through it and uh it's not bulky or anything like that so you can manipulate it to however you want and uh yeah he looks he looks fantastic for a figure this size and uh arms let's see as far as articulation head is on the ball joint he can look up about that much and down, maybe a little bit more. Down definitely a lot more, actually. It's just looking up is a little limited, but still good range. And then as for the arms, they're on ball joints. You see here, ball attached to the uh, torso section. Oh, actually you guys can't see, but there's the socket right there. But again, it does pop out quite easily. And then there's a hinge showing right here. So we'll pop that back on. I think it's because uh, when you're having him, if his arms are down, there's barely enough room. Barely enough room in the, in the uh, opening here. And then let's see. Oh, no, I'm not gonna take this off. And then the elbow. Ratcheting joint. Oh my god, this thing is. Why is this so hard? My goodness. And then now uh, there's a hinge joint goes in and out. Too bright. In and out for the hand. Same on the other side. And then as far as the torso, there's a, a waist, there's a ball joint. But it's somewhat limited to the range you get out of it. And then uh, oh man, why is everything so tight? And then these, uh... oh man, he can barely move his legs now. Why is this one? Oh, it came off. Look at that. So there's the joint for the legs. Man, everything's coming apart right now. There's that joint. Uh, it can lift up, but uh, it is hindered by uh, his humongous thigh. So to pop that back on. Oh man, you need to push it. And there's his butt right there. And there we go. And uh, yeah, once you pump, oh no, it's not staying on. But oh well. You know what? Uh, and then the legs. Double joint. Hinge ankle. It does. Uh, does it pivot a little bit? Yes, it does. Pivot a little bit and toes articulation right there. 
Oh. Okay. Yeah, mine's falling apart for some reason. Still, I mean, this is a good looking figure, nonetheless. Okay, I'm gonna pop this head off and try the other one. Wow, that's a huge peg right there. Then, just a matter of popping this on. How's the cape? Let's see. Okay, it's just laser. Okay. 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 Let's see if I can pop this thing on. It's head. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Okay. Dark side. And he has a pointy finger with his hand again. Okay, so... Oh, God! This thing keeps falling off. Everything's falling apart in this guy. Like I said, the opening of this uh, section is just not big enough for his arm to come down all the way. Because once you put this arm all the way, I mean the socket kind of... The, the ball joint kind of pops out of the socket there. Oh god. I mean once you get him in a nice pose, he's gonna look fantastic, but just getting him to that pose is uh, a little struggle for me. But yeah, he looks great. Looks fantastic. Yeah. DC Classic. Let's do a comparison. And here's a size comparison with uh, Green Lantern here. DC Classic as well. And uh, dark size 9 inches in height. And you can see he towers over Hal Jordan here. Hal Jordan is like, whoa, you are tall. It's like, whoa, you are small. But yeah, there you go. Oh, let me get a picture of this. So yeah, um, unfortunately his head doesn't turn that well because uh, the bottom of this uh, chin section here, this helmet thingy, uh, does hinder uh, mobility for the head. So he can't turn all the way over. So if you have him pointing, uh, you're gonna have to have him point like that, and not too far away. That's all. So yeah, so there you go. There are some limitations on this figure, uh, but still, fantastic one, nonetheless. And the paint job on it is pretty nice too. Let's take a look at it, really quick. Like his skin looks like rock. Ah. So yeah, overall, a fun figure. Oh, this will be my uh, thumbnail image, I would think. Or maybe this head. I kind of like this head too. So let me give you a closer look at this head too. So yeah, there you have it, Dark Side DC Classic from McFarland Toys, and uh, thanks for watching.